Hello everyone and uh, welcome um, back to Frog Racing. Um, today I wanted to show you uh, the new generation of helmet. Um, this is my old uh, Sparco RJ um, 3i helmet. Um, and that's a, a new generation Sparco Flux RJI, sorry. And so this one is uh, the old uh, SA 2015 standard. This one is the old uh, 88 uh, 59-2015 standard. This one is a new uh, version of this helmet. So it's certified FIA uh, SA 2020, but more importantly, it is to the FIA 88-58-2024 standard. So the main difference between the two, the outer shell is about the same size. Um, the main difference is in the padding uh, for the 18, um, 2024 standards. So now the padding here is in two pieces. There is one piece on the foam and another piece for the cheek. The other one just had one piece of padding. You can feel the, foam, the, the internal foam up to here and then the padding here. So now this is a, a separate piece of padding that is removable and washable. Uh, another big difference is the cons. So the Sparco comms used to come with this uh, Nexus connector directly attached to the intercom. And if you forgot to unplug in the car and would get out, you would break the connector uh, on the inside and uh, uh, the comm wouldn't work anymore. So now they have a design similar to Stilo where the connector for the comm is a female plug at the back of the helmet. So you will need a male male adapter, so male on both sides to connect to your uh, existing intercom uh, but it will make the car much more reliable inside the helmet they also change the boom the boom here used to be you can here see here i had to fix it with tape in the end um, and it was just a protector in the front that was fixed now you have a boom that you can actually orient and uh, that is uh, actually uh, pretty sturdy um, one big difference too on the outer shell, if you look at the top, there are actually ventilation holes where the old one had no ventilation. And so if you look inside here, the padding, if I put it through the light, maybe, yeah, you can see the ventilation holes at the top of the helmet. So that should help uh, in hot weather. Another difference is uh, the sun shield here that was a, like a hot plastic. Now it's more of that flexible, rubbery uh, plastic material. So if it takes a hit or it shouldn't break as the old one was more prone to break. Uh, also, a new helmet comes, all the new helmets of the standard have to come with a matching FIA 8858 2010 tethers and they must have the logo on them. Otherwise, uh, in the back, it's about the uh, same design. We just had the, the vents here in the back before. So now it's replaced by the six vents at the top. Um, but otherwise the, uh, the shape of the helmet is also designed to have uh, higher hands coming here compared to the old shape that was a bit lower. So this uh, gives you an overview of the new uh, Sparco Flux. Uh, I got this one on Demon Tweaks for less than 500 bucks. Uh, which is basically half price of the Stilo helmet, even the cheapest Venti for the WRC. And uh, so the new standard, you have uh, resistance to 300 Gs and uh, more resistance to side impact with the padding. Comes in two colors, red or black interior. I took the red to differentiate from Margaret's helmet that is black and uh, if you have an existing car, don't forget you will have to add the uh, male-to-male -male Nexus connector. Uh, the zero noise male-to-male uh, uh, -male Nexus connector will work with those helmets. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea if you need to uh, get a new helmet for this season. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.